What's up, SWAT squad? <laughs> Yo, Beyond, thank you so much for the nine ninety nine. Starting it off. Hey, let's go. And check that out. We are at $360 on the Shave the Mullet Fund. But more importantly, we had a very eventful night last night. Right after stream ended. My word, bro. Oh, we got a lot to talk about, huh? Now, we are okay. Thank you so much, everyone, for checking in. We are all right. And I will just to start off to put everyone's mind at ease. This was not a an intentional malicious swatting on the part of somebody, you know, like us being docked. Someone found out where we live and intentionally called for us to be swatted. This was a mistake. Um, so I just don't want anyone to worry. This was not a targeted swatting. It was a swatting. We did get surrounded by cops with their weapons drawn on us in our backyard. And the events that led up to that are just as crazy as that sentence that I just said. So just hold on to your asses, folks. <laughs> Thank God. Yes, exactly. It could be so much worse. There could be someone out there with my address intentionally trying to you know, unalive by cop us. And uh, that's not happening as far as I know. Uh, but I've got security camera footage of the craziest half hour to 45 minutes of, of my life, possibly. Or at least, you know, that's happened in quite a while. And we're going to be going through that and talking about what the fuck happened right after stream last night, too. Christy was like, can you imagine if this would have been like 10 minutes earlier or happened like while we were streaming? That would have been insane. And I'm glad it didn't. So your ass is being held. Thank God. Glad it was accidental. It's still terrifying. Absolutely. You just moved, right? Yes. We have the worst luck with neighbors, uh, which is sort of what led to this event. Um, Sounds like it was an experience. It absolutely was. Now, if you are a member of the private Goose Troop Discord, then you might have seen the write-up right after this happened. I got on the Discord because I was on it beforehand and then just kind of dipped out and had to handle and then came right back and was like, I just, I gotta tell, I gotta talk about this. <laughs> like, what the fuck just happened? So... Our goose troop folks that are in the uh, the Discord, they know, they know what happened, and uh, but they only know what I wrote down. The story as told by me, you got you got to hear it for yourself. <laughs> so it's uh, oh god, your neighbors aren't psychos, are they? I don't think so. Hey yo. Lime, thank you so much for joining the gaggle. Come on over into the Discord. It's so fun in there. We're we're having such a great time. And if you are in the Discord uh, and you have anything stream related to, to bring to my attention, you can put that in the stream channel. Um and and I will see that. So I thought that'd be fun. Just oh god. <laughs> Yesterday. You guys are so quick with the screenshot button, man. Getting that getting that moment of cringe from me and putting it in the Discord. More than once. Thanks. Appreciate it. So let's get into it. Let's talk about what the fuck happened. Because this is crazy. Let me set the scene. Stream just ended. Christy and I were hanging out. We're debriefing. We are on the Goose Troop private Discord that, of course, you can... Get access, well, that of course you can gain access to by clicking the join button below or going to skeletiturner.com and picking from one of the three tiers and joining the Goose Troop Elite. So we're on there and it's lit. We're looking at memes. We're hanging out. We're talking to everyone. Just doing our little post stream chat. You guys are pasting, uh, sending me the pictures of myself doing cringe. Thanks. And, you know, everything's going well. 
a lovely night. We have, uh, you know, just ordered some food. We're winding down for the evening. Thank you so much, Teleforce, for joining the gaggle. Appreciate it. Oh, and Alice Kane, thank you so much for the $5 for the sticker. How's it going? It's going strangely. <laughs> um, so the, there we are, sitting here in the office on Discord. When all of a sudden, we hear uh, a clanging. To my surprise, there was a clatter, and I arose to see what was the matter, you know? And a shadow walking by the window in our backyard. And we're like, what the fuck? There's someone back there. We, I mean, we're both immediately like, that's literally, there's a person in our backyard. We hear voices. Oh, there is multiple people in our backyard. That's new. Now, luckily we have security cameras because where we live, there is activity. Some might say correctivity. <laughs> Some might not say that, but it is, you know, we have security cameras and we are honestly uh, pretty used to having folks coming around, but more specifically in our front yard. I'll give you an example. Here is the security footage from last night. I'm going to scoot the chat. So you guys can see what's up. Um, the uh, so this is I've blurred it all as well too, just so just so everyone knows for my own personal safety and for the uh, privacy of people. What? Oh, for Christie's personal safety as well. Yeah, of course, for our privacy and the privacy of the folks involved. I've, I've blurred the entire security footage. Uh, so it's going to look a little blurry, but you're going to be able to know what's going on. Quacktivity, I love that because of the goose. I love it. Incredible. So this, this is not anyone from last night uh, who I'm showing you on the screen right now. This is just the sort of normal uh, visitors we get to our property. Uh, we live on the, the, the end of the building we have a side yard that attracts folks. I don't know what it is about that side yard, but people love to go back there. Uh, and it happens almost every night. So we're very used to it. So this is the, the sort of normal level of activity we're used to. I'll just go ahead and play this for you. Let me make sure you can hear my desktop audio because you're going to want to hear this. Uh, here we go. And let's go ahead and get that going. So that is, uh, in case you missed it, do you want some fucking ballet shoes amongst other things that I personally don't really follow, but this is, this is my door. This is our window and around here is the side of our house. So this is the kind of activity that we have. Uh, is that Christy or someone else? <laughs> That's someone else. Uh, it's hard to tell sometimes. Ballet shoes. Yeah. She's very upset about the ballet shoes. Understandable. I didn't take them. I don't want them. I don't need them. I don't do ballet. But this is kind of baseline. But this is front yard. This is front door camera activity. We're used to it. It was scary at first. Now we're like, okay, they're going to go. We, they, they all have a routine. They go into our side yard, realize that there's no way to get out into the alley or the street, and then they leave. They're all just coming through here trying to get out of the building. Like, that's, that's what they're all trying to do. So it's not as scary. So, last night, however, we... Uh, uh, I'm just, I'm just looking at uh, a particularly aggressive ballerina. You guys in the chat are cracking me up. Uh, so last night, they're in the backyard. That's new. They normally don't do that. They haven't done that yet. This is brand new for us. 
we hear the activity in the backyard, we hear the voices clanging around loud, not trying to sneak. And then we hear the door, the back door being rattled and then knocked on. And we're like, what in the actual fuck? So we check out the security cameras in the backyard. Well, Christy does. She pulls that up immediately. I <laughs> grab uh, the thing. You know, I keep that thing on me. I generally am not pro uh, that thing. But living here, you, you got to have it. This is the shit. I'm just saying, I'm showing you why. You got to have, uh, you got to protect your household and all that shit. Or at, or at least, you know, have something that looks intimidating. Um, I do have, I have a baseball bat that I keep by my front door. I have an ax that I keep by the back door. And then in case of someone decides to come into your backyard and try to open your door, I do have that thing. So, uh, <laughs> but I wasn't, I, so let me just show you. Here is the security footage of, of what was happening in the backyard as we heard all of this. I know it's very blurry. There's a woman with a chair and here's another woman without a chair. And that's her trying to get into our house. That's our dogs. And then, so the lady with the chair, let's clarify, not our chair. This is a chair that they brought with them specifically for the purpose of jumping the fence over the gates of our backyard and the neighbor neighboring backyard. I don't know if it's their chair or if they stole it from a different neighbor, but it's not ours. So this is what we see. Two women in the backyard, one with a chair, the other directly to our door, trying to get in. <laughs> BY own chair. <laughs> yeah, no, well, exactly. <laughs> Where is the chair now? The chair, oh my God, the chair has its own saga throughout this story. You have to, <laughs> you'll, you'll have to follow along. You have to stay tight and, and hear where the chair goes. So this is what we see. We immediately get on the security cameras because luckily there's like a, a microphone feature where we can talk to them. Um, and we're like, you're on private property. You need to leave now. And they, I'll just actually, I'll keep, I'll go ahead and keep playing this through and let you know. So we got this lady in the other corner of our yard with the chair She's here. Um, and at this point, I don't think we've said anything over the microphone yet. We're just like catching up on what the fuck is happening. Please let me in. I live in one old Okay. She says, please let me in. And she's saying she lives in one of the other apartments. And we're like, huh? So that's when we get over the the speaker and we say you're on private property, you need to leave. And actually we said that first and she goes, no, you need to let me in. I, I live in one of these other apartments. <laughs> and we're like, you're not fucking coming into our house. The, this is not, <laughs> it's absolutely not an option. <laughs> like uh, the chairs in the chair. <laughs> Oh my God, the chairs in the chat are cracking me up right now, bro. Yeah, then go to your apartment, literally. So the thing is, we have this privacy fence around our apart around our backyard, but there's a gate between each apartment's backyard that is like a tiny little uh, metal dog gate. It is, and and it doesn't lock. So you can just flip that up and go into anyone's apartment from the back like they have done here. Or if someone does lock, like put a bike lock on it, which we have a bike lock on the other side, then they can still just hop over it. Hence the chair. That's why they have the chair. So it's just, it is so easy. It's just honor system. Apparently 
the that all the neighbors are going to respect each other's yard space and not just fucking walk up on someone else's property and try to get in their fucking house. Uh, but no. Wow, such amazing security. Time for an electric fence. <laughs> Literally, I am so pissed because I brought this to my landlord's attention and I wasn't going to say anything, but he started, he texted me, he was hassling me about something today. And I was like, listen, dude, we, we had two ladies from another apartment, like literally break into our yard and try to get into our house last night. Can you do something about this tiny fucking dog gate situation? I don't understand why there's a privacy fence around all of our yard. And then the only thing separate, I was like, I'm like, I said it nicely, but I'm like, can we please get this fixed? This is scary and this isn't great. And he didn't believe me. <laughs> and so I'm like, all right, we'll fix ourselves. Thanks. He goes, you're welcome to put a lock on there. A lock's not going to do shit when they have a chair. Boom. Rock, paper, scissors. Chair always defeats lock. <laughs> lock, paper, chair. Lock, fence, chair. Chair defeats lock. Every time. We need a fence. So let's keep it going. Let's see. This is a, uh, this is crazy. So we're talking back and forth with her, like leave or we're going to call the cops. Wait, and she's, and she says, please do. They're saying, please call the cops. There's somebody in our, somebody's coming after us. We're trying to get over your fence. Uh, and I'm like, instead of getting over our fence, why don't you just walk back through the fucking open gate that you came through? <laughs> You know, the fuck? And obviously they look distressed, but also I have seen enough videos on the internet to know, you know, I've seen enough true crime to know you see a woman asking for help. You stop and help. You open the door. Next thing you know, five guys jump out and your ass is jumped. So I'm not doing that shit. Electric fence, you guys are crazy. So we're like telling them, you know, you uh, you need to go, you need to go. They are refusing to do so. They still got the chair. Okay, so she's going over to see if they can figure out figure out the chair. <laughs> they can make something work with the chair. Because essentially what they're saying is that they want to get out of the yard because we are the very last yard in the row of, of the yard, the backyards in the apartment. So they're trying to get all the way out. But since we have the privacy fence and not a gate to the outside, uh, they can't get out. And the chair apparently isn't tall enough to get them out. So we're like telling them there are other ways out. There's also your own fucking apartment. <laughs> Uh, and they are adamantly arguing that that's just not an option. The only option here is for them to come into our house. Um, apparently. <laughs> there she goes <laughs> with the chair. Please just let the door through. So the one with the chair is now like, okay, we can't get out of here. We need to leave. Come on. No, I'm sitting right here. Don't hear I don't know if you heard that, but she says, come on. The one with the chair is like, come on, let's go. And the one in white says, no, I'm staying right here. And that is the theme for the rest of the evening. The, uh, the lady with the chair is very pragmatic. She's on top of shit. She's getting shit done. Mad respect. Or the chair lady. Lady in white could have handled things differently. She has decided to dig her heels in and stay right here. Um, figuring that, that the only thing she's going to allow to happen is for herself to come into our home. Uh, that's what she decided needs to happen here. Weird chair of events. <laughs> oh my God. Turn the chair into an emoji in the discord. All right, Christy, can you, can you get on that? I love it. When your wife's a graphic designer. 
So. <laughs> chair day. Bad <laughs> chair day. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> My God, you guys. I love it. So the woman in white stays. The woman in red leaves. And it is a long ass time that she is in our backyard, just insisting that she needs to come in. Um, essentially adopting the attitude that we are holding her hostage in our backyard, saying it's so cold out here. Why are you guys making me stay out here? When we are repeatedly like, you need to leave, please. There is a gate. She says her argument is that one of the other gates was locked, so she hopped over it, and in doing so, she ripped her pants and has hurt herself and doesn't want to do that again. Okay. Now that's our problem. Um, and again, I'm like, I have never seen you. I don't know you. You're really not doing anything to prove to me that you actually do live here, that you are in any harm. Uh, but Christy is the one who is talking to her through the camera app. And I'm kind of like my adrenaline's pumping. I've got, I'm going around, I'm collecting the bat, the ax, the thing, that thing, um, getting everything ready. I've got, I'm just picking up all of the animals and bringing them into the office. And I call 911 because she says, call the cops, call the cops, call the cops. And I'm like, I, yeah, I'm going to call the fucking cops then, I guess. But it's a city and the response time is wild. Uh, so I'm kind of just on the phone with dispatch and I'm like, you know, hey, this there are ladies. We've got them on the security camera. They're in the backyard. One of them is actively trying to open our door. They're asking to let, to come inside. We don't know them. We don't know if they live here. We don't know what is going on. But they're telling Christy, you know, throughout this, that apparently the lady in white, her boyfriend broke into her apartment and was trying to beat her up and was after her. So the two of those, the two women fled via chair over <laughs> the fences of all the apartment backyards ended up in ours and decided that's where they were going to stay. Or at least the woman in white decided that's where she's going to stay. So, uh, you know, I'm trying to relay this to the guy. I'm also trying to follow along with the, what the fuck is going on here as well. All I know is that there's a woman outside begging to come inside who is rattling my door and another woman with a chair, you know, I'm trying to piece it together as it's happening. A chair escapade, truly. Fled via chair. <laughs> so, shit's wild. Next thing we know, we get a knock at the front door. We're like, oh, thank God the cops are finally here. Because I'm more than happy to be like, listen, if you're only way out of here, if you really are hurt, you can't get out the way you came, sure, wait for the cops. When they get here, as long as the dogs are safely, you know, in the office, we'll let a cop in. Take them to the back door and they can escort you through here and get you out the front and we can all go on with our day. I thought that's what was going to happen. She would survive in a horror movie. <laughs> yeah, she's a final girl for sure. Oh my God. Teleforce, thank you so much. Build a moat six feet deep. That's what we will be doing with those $50 that you have just sent to the Shave the Mullet Fund. I appreciate that so much. Uh. Honestly, I think we're going to get a fucking piece of plywood and just prop it up there. And it's going to look ugly, but at least <laughs> I think it'll keep the chairs. I think it, it beats chair. So we get the knock at the front door. Is it the cops? Um, no, it is the lady with the chair. <laughs> she has now gone all the way around. She's found her way out and into a our front door. But the woman in white still at the back door. So we got one at the front, one at the back. She rings our doorbell. And let's see. The one that jumped the fence. Oh. <laughs> she clarifies she's the lady that just jumped the fence. <laughs> Thank you for letting us know. Um, and 
Now we got one at the front door, one at the back door, both of them yelling at us from beyond, uh, beyond the walls, which are thin. So we're hearing both of them at the same time. Yeah, knocking, ringing the doorbell, rattling the back door, crying, let me in, let her through. AJ Hernandez, thank you so much for 20. Let's fucking go. Um, yeah, maybe we should, uh, no, we'll wait, we'll wait on that. Flanked. <laughs> yes, we are, we are flanked. <laughs> Have you seen these paranormal cracktivities? Paranormal cracktivity. This is one of the driving chairs. <laughs> <laughs> the chair memes. The chair memes are strong. Oh my god. And we have we have a chair in the Discord. I love it. Let me see. Let me see if I can show you guys this. Come here. Look at this. Incredible. The the Discord is so lovely, truly. So anyway, she's at our front door. We we are flanked. <laughs> We're properly flanked. Um, and I'll just play you some of the stuff she was saying. They, they were both distraught. I will give them that. I don't know if that helps their case, but they were, they were shaken as were we. They're both saying, and if you're having a hard time understanding what's being said, it's not you. It's just like, I, I would say about 60% of the words that were being said were coming through. So it was very hard to communicate through the doors with two people at the same time. <laughs> Not enough you heard that. She goes, she's about to have a fucking heart attack and you won't answer the door. I swear to God, you guys are the worst neighbors ever. <laughs> Like, like I put her ass out there. Like I'm holding her hostage in our backyard. Oh, yeah. Very unneighborly of me. Hey, what's the mullet fun for? What's the mullet fun for? Folks, that is for shaving the mullet. We are at 420. Oh, that's why you said 420. Let's go. We are at $420. On the mullet fund, uh, when we hit 2,500, first of all, I'm going to shave the mullet. Second, and most importantly, I am getting a new camera that I've wanted for quite a long time. And it's going to be awesome. It's, uh, yeah, it's it's for a new camera. And also, and in return, I will be bald. Kind of. What we've decided on so far is that we're going to shave it like a... a a light shave, a buzz, and then we're going to do a goose design. Christy's going to shave with a, like a zero, like bald. A de the design of a goose on the side of my head. <clears throat> my head, And then in the back, we're going to do a rat tail. And it's going to be really awesome. So that's what the Shave the Mullet Fund is for. We are streaming every single day of April uh, to raise money and everything that you can possibly purchase in the stream or on my website goes towards that so on skeletai turner we've got merch oh which reminds me if you are a member of the goose troop elite over on skeletai turner.com the brand new the very first exclusive members only merch just dropped and let me actually show you that because it's so dope uh we just got this going it is right here. Members only support your local goose with the honk and the text reading. I proudly support my local goose and it's 10% off for huge honker and golden goose members. And it's pretty sweet. So that's available. Of course, we also have the stay huge shirt and stay huge embroidered hat. Uh, chair, merch. chair merch. Let's go. Yeah, we're about to have some chair merch drop tomorrow. <clears throat> I'll do it for real. Mad lad shit. So she, chair lady is upset with us because we are being bad neighbors by not letting the woman who broke into our yard and tried to enter our home 
uh, into our home, understandably. And she, the woman in the backyard is still here. She's still telling us she needs to come in. She's saying, wait, what's she say? Can I please walk through? She's crying. Can I please come in? I'm just freezing. She's freezing. How could we be doing this to her? Um, you know, which is unfortunate. Like, obviously she's, she's not having a great night, but so you can't just go into someone's backyard and get mad at them for not letting you into their home. <laughs> In my opinion. Uh, so she's back. They're both, it's back and forth. Both of them. They're like I said. She's going to call the cops on us. <laughs> Honey, we're on the phone with them. We're waiting on them. You know, when the cops come, you are welcome to leave. Uh, let's see. So I'm she talking to her. Right here. There's nobody here. Tell her it's safe. Don't tell her to jump that fence now. I already jumped the fence. Tell her it's safe. Just to come out. You had appreciated it. So then the tone changes a bit. So it's it goes from she can't jump the fence, let her into your house and let her come out here to okay, thank you. I appreciate what you're doing. All that trouble, you already let her in, just tell her to come out. You went through the trouble. I think she believes that the woman is in our house and that we are keeping her in there and not letting her out. Absolutely not the case. I'm sorry, guys, for you to have to do this. I'm the one that. So then we get an apology. Well, that's nice. That's very considerate. And then the next thing she's about to say changes the night. This is, uh, oh, shit. Tom Homunculus, thank you so much for joining the gaggle. Make sure you come on over to the Discord. Uh, if you get in the stream chat, you can, <laughs> uh, you can see the, uh, the stuff people are putting in here. All right, let me get back to it. So what she's, what the chairwoman's about to say is going to change the trajectory of the entire night. Up until this moment, we are very on guard. We have no confirmation that these women live in our apartments. We have no confirmation that these women are you know, up to anything other than nefarious uh, getting into our house purposes. We don't know what's going on with them. We are guarded. We are on the phone with 911. We are, you know, huddling all of our pets into our office. We are armed. And we are spooked. And then she says this. You have to do this. I'm the one that um, called about your cat going to my house. I'm the one that called about your cat. He came to my house. And that's when I'm like, oh, no way, hold up. Because that is a true thing that happened. Binks got out. He went to the neighbor's house. She apparently has a window open that she leaves for stray cats. And they all come in there and they hang out and they eat. And Binks has been joining the party over there. And we got a call about it. And she was very, very nice. And I'm like, ooh, now, whoa, 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 hold the phone. I'm very blindsided by this information. I hope your kitty's okay. Your kitty hasn't visited me. Yeah, I called my house. It was in love with my, t my cat. <laughs> called your mom, Kim. Hi. Hi. I had called your mom, Kim, because your cat kept going to my house. <laughs> and I haven't seen him in a couple Plot twist. What, what is it? I just wonder what you were saying. Oh, I was looking, I was letting them hear the, it's you can't hear it. For me. I, well, it's paused now. She was standing off to the side. Okay. So she says, I talked to you about the cat. She's got the trap house for cats. Exactly. And, and I want the best for my child Binks. So I'm like, I want to stay on good terms with the neighborhood cat lady. I don't want to do anything to piss her off. 
I want Binks to be, you know, having a warm welcome into the neighbor's home. Not only that, we've talked to this woman on the phone. Christy literally has her phone number saved. She was very sweet. And so I mean, I'm like, guard is down. I unlock the door. We got three locks. I'm like, click, click, clack. Open up the door. Shake the woman's hand. And I said, all right, we're going to, we'll let her in. She can come through. Why didn't she leave with that? Exactly. Yeah. And here you can see the woman in white coming out of the front door. Uh, against our better judgment, we did end up letting her through. And she was truly shaken up. And her pants were ripped, so she was telling the truth about that. And then they're nice. And now, uh, you know, the the neighbors are friends. We're good. It's all good. Whatever was going on, apparently, your stream keeps having a line go through in the middle. Oh, weird. I don't really know what that's from. It's probably because I got way too much fucking shit open right now. My computer is probably struggling to keep up with what I'm doing. Um, yeah. Thank you for the heads up. I'll have to look into that afterwards. It's probably something with my graphics. Oh, it's because I've got Adobe Premiere open. That's what I'm uh, running the security camera with so that I can scrub through really easily. And that is just, it just takes so much of the memory. So apparently the story is the two women fled a man who was trying to attack them, ended up in our backyard, couldn't get any further out. One of them left with the chair, the one with the chair left. And she ended up going back to the apartment, making sure it was safe, locking it up so the guy couldn't get back in, coming around to our front door while the woman in white stayed there because she was hurt, too hurt to get back over the fence. And apparently in shock. I mean, they all, they seem frazzled. And then finally, we confirmed, oh, actually, we do know you. Oh, there's a little fruit fly here. Fruit fly, don't bother me. And so finally, we let them back in. And then, so I'm on the phone still with 911. And I'm like, listen, uh, we know these people. It's fine. They left. We're good. We don't need the cops. It's already been a half hour that we've been on the phone with you trying to get the cops out here to escort this woman who refuses to leave our back doorstep in through our home so that she can leave because apparently she's too injured to walk through the fucking open gate in our backyard. So we're good. We don't need the cops. Don't send them. And he says, okay. And I'm like, great. So that's that. We think our night is over. Our big eventful evening has <clears throat> our big eventful evening has come to a conclusion here, and we can finally take it down a fucking notch. Well, you saw the title of the stream. We decide to unwind in the backyard. Well, first of all, we have to go out there and check out the property. First thing I notice. Uh, open. gates open gate to the neighbor's yard is open second thing I notice the chair is in the yard they left the chair not our chair possibly not their chair either someone's chair is in our yard now we didn't fucking steal that shit so I'm like oh my god <laughs> the chair is in the yard folks and now all our animals are like oh shit open gate So, we, Christy and I, are now in the backyard, closing up the gate, getting the chair, having a cigarette, even though I just quit, let's, you know, hey, if that happens, the adrenaline was hitting. So, Christy and I are now in the backyard, you know, the place where we just where the intruders previously were when we were on the phone with the cops. 
care for your troubles, sir. <laughs> yeah. Stress sick. Exactly that. When all of a sudden, what do you know? We're hanging out. Calm as can be. You know, nothing, nothing seems really off. And we start to hear some noises. We hear some doors closing in the parking lot around our house. We start hearing some footsteps around the, the outside of the fence. We're thinking, oh my God, I hope, I hope no one's coming back to, <laughs> to fuck with us. I hope whoever was after those women is not looking for them near our yard. Uh, you know, I hope that we're done with the, the events of the evening. No. That's when I get a notification on my phone from the security camera app and I see a cop at the front door. I'm like, oh, that's weird. They didn't knock. You know, you get a little video preview and I see them kind of just standing, walking by and I'm like, oh, they didn't knock. They didn't let us know they were here. I'm going to go out front and tell them that we're good because surely they're about to knock on the door. Fucking nope. Here's what is actually happening, unbeknownst to Christy and I, who are both literally in the backyard. We got the whole G-Dang SWAT team coming around with weapons drawn, AR, shotgun, pistol, all of it. And this is just the ones in our front side yard. They are literally surrounding our backyard with weapons drawn on us. As Christy and I sit back there thinking, wow, what a crazy night. <laughs> And we had no idea until I come out front. And here you can see some of them. <clears throat> and it's just, it's more of them. The cameras don't catch everything. It's just like the most motion. So then I come out here thinking there's one cop out here and I'm like, oh, hey, uh, they left. And suddenly, you know, we talk for a second and I'm just here like, what the fuck? They all start leaving. I'm like, wait, is there someone else back there? Because they start talking to some people in our side yard. Yeah. Look at how many fucking cops they had back there. And I'm like, uh, yeah. I'm like, where's my fucking ballerina shoes? First of all. I'm telling them, we're good. We're done. We don't need this. That's my wife and I back there. That's literally my wife and my dogs who started barking at them, which is my biggest fear because cops kill dogs frequently. Um, so I was like, oh my God, no, that's us. That's us. The intruders are gone. Please, please don't do anything. Like I immediately go in there and I'm like, get inside. Like it's the cops. <sighs> terrifying terrifying chain of events last night folks but luckily that was the end this is why we don't call the cops i mean it's kind of like a lose-lose situation if you have someone in your yard refusing to leave that you don't know that is asking you to call the cops to escort them through your home what are you going to do? Like she was there for 30 minutes and did not leave. And Christy wouldn't let, I kept saying, tell her I'm about to go out there. And Christy's like, no, 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 no. Like she's scared. Like, I don't know. Cause Christy was talking to her more than I was. I was just like, all I know is that there's someone trying to get in our house. Um, but cops left. I ended up catching them in time. I'm so glad I had the security cameras and the notifications on and happened to catch that because I just, I don't know what would have happened. It's so scary how close we came to having a really bad situation from them thinking that we were the intruders that we called the cops about just from being literally in our own backyard. 45 minutes after we called in the first place. And after I already told them, never mind, they left. <sighs> so, clickbait king. How is that clickbait? We got swatted. <laughs>
<laughs> it was an accident, but it still happened. Like there was a fucking SWAT team surrounding us with their weapons drawn in our own yard. That's not clickbait. That's a, a, a literal event. I've got it on camera. See? You see? Ta-da. Oh, terrifying. Terrifying evening. I don't understand why so many of them followed up. Exactly. I thought we'd have one guy come out there. Or a woman. Women can be cops too. Or non-binary people. I don't know. I don't think any non-binary person would become a cop. I'd like to believe that's not the case. Thank you so much, Sunshine, for nine ninety nine. dollars Call the chair force next time. <laughs> that's what I should have done, calling the chair force. Speaking of the chair, so after the cops left, we go back, and I'm like, the fucking stolen chair is in our yard. We don't need that. So I grab the chair. I take it out front, and I put it out in the parking lot. And this morning we go to get breakfast and the chair is gone. So hopefully the chair has been returned to its rightful owner. Um, thank you so much, Chris Palmer, for the $5. Appreciate you. Goose Clarinet, welcome to the gaggle. Perfect username. Whew, I'm worked up. I'm sweating. Wow, we are at just about $430. Nearly 20% of the way to shaving off the mullet, if you can believe it. And we will have some <clears throat> more to manually add to that in just a little bit. After the stream, I'll go through and put in all the memberships and all the merch uh, and everything that was purchased on Skeletai Turner. So if you joined... The Ghost Troop Elite, the memberships that come with extra content, live streams, private Google Hangouts, discounts on merch, members-only exclusive merch, uh, all sorts of fun stuff. Go check that out. Of course, you can also join the gaggle right here on the YouTube channel, get as access to the private Discord, uh, as well as cool shit on the channel. You get special thanks directly on my YouTube channel. You get goose badges, you get custom emojis like the blahage and, and the geese that you might have seen being posted. And then we will have more. When we get a few more um, members, I can put more emojis. So the more members we have, the more emojis I get to put in there. And it'll be awesome. I've got a bunch of Binks emojis that I'll be adding. Um, but for today's stream, I think probably going to keep it to a short one, maybe just do, do an hour. Um, maybe do like a little chat hangout for the rest of, of the stream this evening. Cause it's been, uh, you, you know, you know, just, uh, <laughs> it's been a day, but of course come into the discord, uh, Join the Goose Troop private Discord and come see us. It is so fun. We have so many awesome people in the Discord. I've been looking through the introductions and reading about everyone, and everyone's just so cool. Ty, check the Discord. Oh, speaking of, let's see, let's see. <laughs> oh, my God. Let me put this over here. Check this out. That's the new tier one. <laughs> electric fence plus goose chair electric chair plus goose fence there we go that's what we need a guard goose an attack goose rye guy thank you so much it's right. past your bedtime as we speak there's someone trying to get out right now oh yeah there's someone in our yard in our front side yard area yeah as we speak right now we just got a notification on the Security cameras. There's someone out there looking for their ballerina shoes. <laughs> Guarantee. <laughs> Thank you so much, Rye Guy, for hanging out. Thank you for the sticker and the $5. That is very kind. Thank you, Eve, for joining the gaggle. Come on over to the Discord. You can find the link to that uh, on the private membership tab. Uh, the private, uh, the membership 
community post. It's I posted it on the community link thing. I'm losing my words. <laughs> oh, maybe invest in a floodlight. There is a floodlight. It does nothing. We have signs that say private property, cameras. We got the floodlight. They don't care. And that's fine. They, they're they not bothering us, honestly. I mean, sometimes they go over there and they leave trash or use the restroom, which I don't love, but, you know, they're, they're, they're just people who are having a hard time. I feel like anyone could be in that situation. You got to be kind and understanding. And as long as they're not trying to fuck with us, I just let them do their thing and, you know, that's that. Live and let live. Spike pit. <laughs> That's what we need. Um, I said, what if we got some fishing line and ran it like ankle height, <laughs> you know, on the property line? Chrissy said, no, that'd be mean. And it would be mean. Uh, so we're not doing that. But man, it'd be funny. And we'd get it on video because we have the security videos. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Not doing that. It, it was a joke. Uh, but we do have a chain that we're going to put a sign on. And hopefully that will keep people out. You know, a very visible chain that will hang across and be like, please, please do not urinate on my home. Um, or maybe something else. I haven't decided what the sign's going to say. That would possibly be illegal too. Yeah, you're not allowed to booby trap your property. That is illegal. I wouldn't do it. I just I just thought it'd be funny. Tripwire connected to a boulder. <laughs> Indiana Jones, that shit. Looney Tune them. Yeah. I'll paint a paint a door on the fence so that they'll try to walk through it. Discord is members only. That is true. Uh so, but it's two dollars. And you get a lot of other stuff like on the channel for the streams. You also get permanent access. I'm not going to kick you out after, if you only do it for one month. So basically it's like a $2 entrance fee. Um, of course, I'd like, like for you to stay around a little bit longer than that. But yeah, come on over to the Discord if you'd like. And while we're in the stream, <laughs> come on TV, you got it. This is lovely. What I really love is the memes. Like this has been my favorite. <laughs> we got the chairs. The memes have been funny. The memes are really hitting here. And of course the, uh, the pets, the pets are great. Um, Goose Troop Discord is, is lit. We're having a lot of fun. When they step in a certain area of your yard, it makes a clicking noise. The noise doesn't do anything, but it's terrifying. Yeah, or like a countdown, five, four, or from 10 probably to give them enough time to leave. Booby trap your property with chairs. <laughs> that would, I could do it. I mean, it'd probably be like confusing if we just filled the space with chairs to where you couldn't walk through there. Then what are they going to do? Move all the chairs? It'd take forever. Weaponized sprinkler system. You guys are full of great ideas. I love this. Maybe a long dog slash baby gate. We've thought about that. We've thought about the gate. Yeah, we have the chain. We're going to install the chain and see if that helps. we got some ideas. You guys have great ideas. I mean, we'll just consult you. <laughs> you guys are like security experts. Maze of chairs. <laughs> a maze of chairs. A labyrinth. And, uh, and Binks is the minotaur in the oh center. No, he's the little worm. Oh, he's the worm. Yeah. Come inside and meet the missus. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> uh, a pet skunk could help. I'm not punk. Thank you so much for joining the gaggle. Hell yeah. Ooh, I hope to see you in the Discord soon. Really really glad I did this uh, daily live stream thing. This has been so fun. I felt like I was doing, you know, bigger video projects that were taking me longer. 
And I, you know, this is just so fun to go live and get to talk to everyone right here. And then having the discord and getting to chat between the lives. This shit's rad. Maybe I just become a streamer. <laughs> Maybe I'll start streaming. Um, I do have some other videos coming up soon. I think that some of our streams are going to end up being video editing streams because like, it's really hard to get a significant amount of like, uh, like brain intensive work done after streaming because I feel so fried for like talking for two hours straight. I'm just like, what, what am I, what am I doing? Strix. Thank you so much for joining the gaggle. Migs, thank you so much for joining the gaggle. I'll see y'all over in the discord very soon. Uh, Hey, yo, Luxander, join the streamer lifestyle. I've been doing it two years and finally it's paying off. I love that. I'll have to catch some. Do you stream on YouTube or are you mostly on Twitch? I, I know that I've watched your streams, but it's been so long. I can't remember where. Um, I think you did a really good one about some sort of, some sort of trans news that I was following. Something had happened, but absolutely guys go check out i only stream on youtube wednesdays and sundays awesome go check out luxander's stream um you know there's a thing where you can <laughs> you guys probably know this it's it's like the raid on twitch but i don't know what, i don't know what it's called on youtube so if you're live on wednesday when i'm live i will do that i'll send when i end my stream i'll send them to you uh, if i can figure out how to do that <laughs> uh bella what are you guys talking what are you talking about oh i should totally get back to you on video stuff instead of depression sleeping i feel that i totally feel that we, we, we will uh we'll touch base soon i definitely have some sh i haven't been really i filmed one video but it's been like one long ass continuous i've been vlogging for like a week straight and i don't know what in that vlog is <sighs> worth keeping around like it's i've just been i've been vlogging uh, so that'll be a really, <laughs> that'll be a tough edit. It'll be a slog. So I don't know if I want to like put that on your shoulders. Um, but definitely let's, let's touch base. Indra's child deep asleep. Thank you so much for joining the gaggle. They call it redirect and I'll put you as a safe channel. Thank you. Oh, that's so kind. Oh Yeah. Besties, I'm making streamer friends. Let's Yay. go. Find it hilarious. Instead of leaving to a different place, they decide to mission impossible things. Yeah, I have no idea how. I'm figuring shit out, you know? But yeah, I really don't know how things go. Your dogs don't stop the crazies from entering your yard. We had them inside, uh, which is lucky because they opened the gate. So our dogs probably would have got out. Um, yeah, we only let the dogs out for small periods of time because they're just, they're not used to being city girls. And when they hear people or see people, they bark. Uh, but we take them out on WAOKs a lot. And I mean, they can go out. We try to keep them out as much as possible, but then they start freaking out and barking at everything. So we, <laughs> we have to keep letting them inside and then they want to go out in and out, in and out all day. Uh, Tis the life of two stay at home parents. We both work from home. So the dogs are like very spoiled with, what they're allowed to do. Took them 10 minutes to leave from Cisco. Took them 10 minutes? Yeah, just left. Whoever was in our yard earlier just left. Took them, they were out over there for 10, 10 minutes in our front and side yard, not in our backyard. So we got two dogs, Goose and Nani. They are both Husky Shepherd mix. Um, they're lovely. Let's see. Let me show you some pictures. Of course, if you go into the Discord, I will, we have a whole pets channel there where you can see everyone's pets. But I don't think I've put them in there yet. <clears throat> what I love is that my phone organizes the pictures like by the animals. Oh, here's Nani on her birthday the other day. We had a little sombrero on her. Isn't she so cute? Uh... That's Nani. We also call her Weasel. So we have Goose and Weasel. Those are not either of their names. 
but they are just, there are, there are children, truly. Let me show you a goose. I put a bow on her head the other day, and that was really cute. So there's Goose. She is, they're both really pretty, but they're not very photogenic. So they kind of always look a little weird. Like in photos, they oftentimes look really ugly, but they're cute. They're cute, I promise. They just don't photograph well. So Goose and Nani, they are our children. Oh, and of course, Binks, obviously, our third child, our baby. Our little black cat. He's a little Halloween man. I'm obsessed with that fucking cat, bro. And I've never been a cat person. And since we've had Binks, I'm just... I'm obsessed with him, for real. When Halloween rolls around and they start selling stuff with black cats on it, I buy every fucking thing. The amount of Binks merch that we have in our home is unreal. Like, I'll show you. I got a whole sh shrine to Binks on my shelf back here. Oh no. Oh no, what I do? I just Oh, yeah, that's unfortunate. <laughs> my webcam came unplugged. Oh no. Yeah. Hello. Grandma. Oh. Okay. Well, folks, that uh, <laughs> that's not working. I am going to wrap it up here. I promise I will show you the Binks Shrine tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Come on over to the Discord. Hang out. We'll have a lot after party over there. My mom, hello mom, glad you made it. Uh, it's been a wonderful night. Thank you all so much for your support and all of your kind words this evening. Uh, it's been a scary fucking day. Well, yesterday. So it's nice to get to chill out here and debrief and just like have a very chill stream and talk about everything and talk through it and process. It's been lovely. So thank you guys so much. Thank you to everyone who contributed to the Shave the Mullet Fund. I will be adding in all of the memberships and the merch sales to uh, get that final number after the stream. And of course, like I said, I will be in the Discord. Um, so I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. We're streaming every single day of April. So come back tomorrow. We're going to do something fun. Oh, yes. What we're doing tomorrow is... Christie's makeup. I am going to do Christie's makeup because if you guys recall yesterday, the cringy lose challenge, I uh, won by doing the cringiest shit. And tomorrow my prize is that I get to do Christie's makeup. So I'm going to do half of her face and then she is going to try to match and yassify the other half of her face. And it's going to be a good time. And uh, thank you, Alice Kane, for joining the gaggle just in time right in the nick of time. All right. Bye folks. Have a good night and stay huge.